Hey guys, Haley and Misty here. We are gonna give you some awesome advice because we found this amazing article in, in Maxim. There's this girl. Let me show you. Oh yeah, it. see the girl up close and personal. Wait, I want a boob shot. Ooh, sexy girl in Maxim. She calls herself the helpful hottie. Her name is April Rose. And she had people write in and she gave them advice. But we think the advice is pretty terrible. It's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> she only answered four questions and she bombed them all. So Misty and I are here to give you guys the truthful answers. Yes, the real advice behind the questions. So the first one talks about how do I hit on a beautiful girl without looking A, frightened, or B, like a douchebag. Now, I think first of all, we should listen to April's response. What does April say? April says, nightclubs are the best places to pick up women if you have no game. Since the music is so loud, you can't have a real conversation anyway. Some dance moves would help. I mean, I like dance moves on a guy, but I'm not going to go to a nightclub to find a guy. And she didn't even really answer his question. He's like, how do I hit on a beautiful girl like you? She's like, hey, go to a nightclub and do your dance moves. If a guy's going to hit on me, I just want him to be really honest. I want him to come over to me and just say hi and smile and tell me exactly why he came over. Like, oh, I thought you were cute. I wanted to come talk to you. I think honesty goes a long way. I agree with that. Not like... Hey, if you're from Tennessee, well, you're the first 10 I see. <laughs> what? I get that all the time I've when guys... I've never heard that you <laughs> ever. When guys find out I'm from Tennessee, that's the first line they use. I'm like, wow, that was so original. Thanks. Okay, let's move on. Okay. My girlfriend has a thing for sex in public places, but I'm nervous we'll get her busted. Get her busted? How about both of you guys? Um, how do I tell her? And April says... Don't be a prude. So what if you spend the night in jail? It's a badge of honor. No way! I don't want a guy that goes to jail. I don't want to date a fugitive. He actually should say, I don't want to share you with the public. I don't want anyone else to see that. So I just want to have sex with you at home. Or you could suggest some cool places at your house that sound more exciting than public places. The washing machine. Yeah. I'm sure they've already done that if they're thinking about public places. That's true. The balcony. Yes. Yeah, just keep the blinds open. I mean, that's like practically public, right? Yeah, it's practically. Or you could fall <laughs> off a roof. I had a friend that did that once. Oh. I'm having trouble housebreaking my Doberman puppy. What can I do? She says... Why would you ask her that? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Uh, hi, you're really hot. Do you know anything about dogs? Uh... I crate train my 140-pound bull mastiff as a puppy. Actually, I'm impressed. April, good job with that. If he doesn't work... Oh, sorry. If that doesn't work, pee in his bed, and if he tries to bite you, bite back. Bite your dog? No, pee in his bed, too. Mmm, pee on my doggy bed. Awesome. If you're having trouble housebreaking your dog, I mean, I think ultimately you take your dog to training school. Because they teach duh, you hard, right? right? Yeah. I mean, duh. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred bucks, then your dog comes back, he never pees on your carpet again. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. But if you don't have like a hundred dollars or however much it is to take your dog to house training school, I mean, you can always buy them like those little doggy pee pads and like try right. to teach them to pee on the pee pad until they finally learn to control their bladder and go outside. Or ask someone that's not a Maxim. Hometown hottie. That's true. <laughs> she may know better. Actually, Haley gave you guys pretty good advice, so just listen to Haley. Yeah, buy your doggies pee pads, but don't pee on them like April. And go to school. Yay. All right, last question for April. The best one. If all history is relative, there can be no concept as being right. Right? What? She says, what the heck in our relative history made you think I could answer that? That's just a dumb question. So... You just wanted to sound smart. I and think I actually so. hate guys like that. Don't try to sound ridiculously smart that someone can't even understand what you're saying. I think that wraps it up for the helpful hottie. I hope that we have shed some light on the real truth, being real women, and hopefully we can help you guys answer more questions in the future. Yay for learning! Yay! Haley and Misty Show! See you guys next time! Bye! Bye!